And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Hooked on OC. We'll get back to the fishing in just a minute. Right now we've got a backstage pass to one of the best shows in town. I'm here with owner and chef at the Marlin Moon Grill, Gary Beach. Gary, hey, buddy. thanks for having us over again, man. Uh, folks, I was, had dinner here just a couple of nights ago, and if you want to have one of the best meals you have in your entire life, you got to stop, stop by and see his crew. They do an outstanding job here. Uh, what are we making today? We're going to make, uh, we have our first local mahi this season. Uh, we're going to make a macadamia nut crusted mahi with a pineapple salsa, fresh okay. pineapple salsa. The guys have started to catch some of these mahi right. uh, dolphin, they call them on the dock, uh, out of the hand bone and the hot dog recently. So you guys are probably getting right from them, right? Right. Yeah. So first thing we'll do, we'll take some macadamia nuts you can buy at the store. We'll add them to a food processor. And then I'm going to take some uh, Japanese breadcrumbs. Uh, this you can find this in the ethnic aisle usually. Uh, it's more and more available. Uh, it's a great product. Panko, right? Panko, yeah. It's, they're like shards of breadcrumbs rather than uh, powder. Uh, my so, wife and I use those on all of our fried fish now. They're yeah, food. it's great. Really crunchy. And then uh, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Put salt and pepper with everything. Layer it. And then uh, we'll pulse this. Um, we don't want to make a powder. Okay. But we want to we want to chop the nuts up pretty good. So the is the best way. Heavy stuff to pour the bottom of it. Okay. Get chopped up, and then we're gonna add a little bit of butter. Okay, this will just make the dish a little bit richer, um, and it'll make it brown a lot better. Love butter. Butter. Butter's great. I love butter. Okay. Well, we'll skip the butter. We'll use, we'll use a uh, pan spray. Okay, it's just quicker to spray. Right. I'm going to let you put the breadcrumbs on the fish. All right. Okay. So just put the fish on a sizzle pan that's been greased. You can use butter if you like. All right. This is vegetable now, oil. Is that like padded dry? Uh, a lot of people rinse it off in the sink and just go with it. Right, you, you can. can but I think thing. it's, it's okay. a good thing to, to, rinse, to dry things off before you cook them because of splattering and things. Okay. Another thing we're going to do is not that big a deal. And you can see it's pretty dry. Yep. We're going to brush it with some more butter. Okay, you probably don't want to use this again um, on anything. It's our cross contamination. We're going to season again. This is our chef salt. It's white pepper, uh, ground white pepper, and ground red pepper, and kosher salt. I like I like kosher salt the texture. Yeah, that is it. Okay, so we can just pat just that on. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. About how thick do I do? It? What's the blade? No problem. All right. Yeah. Can I spill it on the sides a little sure, bit? Sure, man. I mean. I'm no Damon Pieri, but I can cook, buddy. Oh, no. That's my wife. <laughs> you know what her favorite dish has turned into? Remember the flounder we did last year with uh -huh. the uh, butter? Uh-huh. Got to have that once a month. Cool. Now, I'm going to okay, put some uh, white wine on this just to help lubricate it, and it'll help steam it. Uh, and then we'll put this in a really hot oven, and we just want to cook it until it's just cooked through. And, um, the, the, the wine will evaporate. Really hot, 375, really hot. 400. 400. Then we have the convection oven here. Okay. Okay, and then we'll go on to make our uh, make our salsa. Right so we'll take a pineapple, a fresh pineapple. Got the top and the bottom That's good on. Fun. Yeah, there's lots of ways to do this. Okay. And then you just go down the sides. Try to get all the green bits off, but not wasting any. Right, yep. Everything inside the green is good, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, the little brown things are tough, you know? Yeah, they're like, what are they, seeds? Um, they're, I don't know what they are. They're eyes, I think. Oh, they're oh, eyes. Pineapple eyes. Yeah. Like an eye of potato. All right, okay. And I just want to make a dice of this. Okay, trim off the little extra bits. Cut the core out of the middle. Just on an angle. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. So that's why there's a hole in the middle of your pineapple. Yeah, when you go to the store, yeah. So, and they just cut it into dices. Nice snipe work. Smell it already. Smell the fish already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really hot oven, convection oven. You smell the nuts. Okay. All right, that's our pineapple. And then I want to take some red onion okay. and a fine dice. Okay, I don't need a ton. I don't want to overwhelm it. Okay, take some uh, red pepper that I've kind of uh, pre-prepped. And get this as small as you can. Okay, again, you don't need a ton. Okay. Just 
orange color and sweet. Really smell for snow. Yeah, that's for me. Um, jalapenos. Um, I like Ooh. a little bit of a spicy side. Hi. So I just go around and cut away from the uh, center where the seeds are the hottest part. Okay. Okay. And you may want to wash your hands, and you may want to wear gloves. Um, you can buy them at any drugstore, powderless, um, because if you do touch a body part, especially delicate ones, it's oh. burn. Forehead, eyes, nose. Leave it that. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Ah. Savory and sweet. Mm. And then I enjoy all this. Stuff. Some fresh cilantro. Just take a little bit off. It's pretty powerful stuff. So let's check. Check it. So nice quick dice. It's powerful, all right? Tastes like perfume. Tastes like that. Stir? Sure, go ahead and stir, buddy. And then a couple extra touches. Again, I'm going to use our chef's salt again yeah. um, for salt and pepper. Savory and sweet. This is actually just a little toss, isn't it? Yeah, and then some extra virgin olive oil to, for some, uh, wow, right. some richness. And some lubrication. And, and some fresh lime juice, okay? I'll eat that later. Right. Yeah, yeah, so this is really just a kind of a real combined. Quick. Yeah, 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 yeah real combined, quick. Yeah. Real quick. You, you know? can see with, all, with the olive with, oil and you, stuff, it starts to stick to the pineapple. You can do it with uh, strawberries, mangoes. You know, mangoes is that crazy uh, pit, but yeah. it's, once you get used to it, it's pretty cool. And then um, let's go back and check on our fish. Okay. Yeah. All right, magic of television. Our fish is done. As you can see, it's got a nice light brown, dark brown to the middle. And on top, it's got that real nice dark brown consistency, so then it's done, right? Right, right. You want a, a golden brown. You don't want to okay. make it black. Gotcha. Okay? Um, it, you want the nuts to be toasted. Another thing to tell if it's done is just the, you can touch the middle of the fish and the center of the fillet, and if it, if it gives, it's done, okay? If okay. it's not, it's going to spring brack. Okay? Gotcha. Okay. Gives, it's done. Yep. All right, I always find myself flaking pieces off to see if it's done. Right. Right. Just not, touch the middle. Not making it as pretty. Well, we cook with a lot, of, you know, when we cook our steaks here, we touch them, you know. Okay. Of course, we wash our cans a lot. Absolutely. Okay. And then we can just garnish with our nice salsa. We can take a couple of the uh, leaves from the uh, pineapple. Trick with pineapple. Yeah. You <laughs> double use it. Yeah. Don't throw anything away. We can garnish with some chives. There you go. Oh my goodness. Got a macadamia nut crusted local mahi mahi with a pineapple sauce. And I tell you what, you've got, folks, do yourself a favor. You've got to come over here to the Marlin Moon Grill. Is this on the menu on a regular basis it when, you, when, it's in, when it's in season, right? Yeah, it's on season tonight. Yeah. It's not on the main menu, it's a special. Gotcha. June through probably September, they're catching mahi, dolphin, we call them over at the dock. You do yourself a favor and come over here to the Marlin Moon Grill and see Chef Gary Beach and his crew. They do an outstanding job. I've never, ever had a bad bite of food in this place. It's always out of this world. Stay tuned after the break. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fields, President and CEO of Tournament Yacht Sales. We are your full service yacht brokerage. Whether it's buying or selling your new or used custom or production boat, we have the sales staff that can assist you in any of your boating needs. Whether it be finding a captain, a mate, moving your boat up and down the coast, or selling. We have locations in Florida, Maryland, North Carolina, and Delaware. We can be reached on the web at www.tournamentyachtsales.com or 1-866-NEW-YACHT. Harborside Bar & Grill, located on the West Ocean City Commercial Fishing Harbor. Not just a location, but a destination for your enjoyment and relaxation. Home of the original fresh squeezed orange crush, often imitated, never duplicated, we feature homemade soups, sandwiches, appetizers, entrees, 
Fresh fish and seafood, certified Angus beef, and made-to-order sautéed pasta sensations. Harborside's got everything you could possibly want or need. So join the rush and get a crush. This is Rodney. He's a lifeguard from Ocean City, Maryland. It's his job to save people from boredom. Don't worry, ma'am. Ocean City isn't far. With a famous boardwalk, 11 miles of beach, and a whole lot more, Ocean City, Maryland is the perfect way to breathe life back into your life. Boredom can sneak up on you without any warning. You just got to be careful out there. Visit OCOcean.com or call 800-OC-OCEAN.